Shopping for a big luxury car right now is a pretty fun task. All the biggest names in the game have new or refreshed offerings on the market, featuring advanced technologies that make driving easier. The Jaguar XJ is not like those vehicles. Even when it was new, it felt a little bit old, in a good way. Meow, yeah, it really is old. But it's no less awesome, packing 575 horsepower in its most potent form. This is the XJR 575. How does it look? The XJR 575 is a very attractive car when it's not painted in irradiated Smurf blue. The nine-year-old design has aged well, looking just as fresh and modern as when it was first introduced. What worked then, the beautiful face, attractive tail, and slinky profile still works today. While the elements that didn't remain problems were still lukewarm on the blacked out D-pillars and the long wheelbase body's proportions occasionally look weird. How's the storage? The XJR 575 has just 15.2 cubic feet of cargo space and a relatively small aperture, making loading and unloading difficult. And honestly, could the designers have found a better place for the trunk release? Storage space in the cabin is at a premium with a smallish center console and compact door pockets. But Jaguar has nailed the little things, like the hidden change tray and concealable cup holders. Is it roomy? In front, there's plenty of space for drivers of all sizes, thanks to the comfortable and supportive 16-way seats. Full-size luxury sedans generally offer excellent back seats, and the XJR 575 is no different. There's plenty of space to stretch out back there, although this high-end model lacks some of the passenger-friendly refinements of the German competition. How does the interior feel? The XJ may be getting on in years, but that doesn't mean the interior is somehow bad or old. This leatherwork is fantastic, and this piano black trim looks really, really good. There's enough chrome bright work that it's almost excessive, but it kind of complements the character of the car. The carbon fiber work is decidedly new school, but it goes really, really well with these beautiful quilted seats and red accents. Is it well equipped? Germany is distancing itself from Jaguar in terms of outright equipment, but the XJR 575 isn't wanting for gear. Heated and ventilated seats, an excellent Meridian audio system, LED headlights, power rear sunshades, and four-zone climate control are all standard. The XJR 575 also gets a few unique style touches that help it stand out from the rest of the litter. How's the infotainment system? Jaguar Land Rover's Touch Pro infotainment system hasn't been the best around, but it feels okay in this XJR. It's quick to respond to inputs, unlike some of the company's other products we've tested, and is easy to live with on a daily basis. Still, it suffers from too many menus, as well as feature bloat. The 10-inch touchscreen is lovely, as is the 12-inch digital instrument cluster. Is it a good daily driver? The XJ is a big British luxury sedan, so of course it works every day. It's, it's a very nice car to drive every day, but there are one or two caveats. Uh, it's very, very big, which makes it a little bit difficult to deal with in tight places if you happen to drive in a lot of urban environments. It's long and it's wide, and you're constantly unaware of just how far the corners of the car are away from you. That said, the ride is impeccable, so if you are driving through the city with potholes and such like we have here in Detroit, you don't really notice them. And there's, there's, a, there's a presence to this car. It's, it's one of those vehicles that as soon as you park it, you're gonna look over your shoulder and look back at it and just kind of catch glances of it every once in a while because it is extremely pretty, even in, even in this shouty blue paint like this one has. I'd prefer a nice British racing green, but Jaguar won't listen to me when I say that's the only color they should sell. The seats and the seating position are fantastic. I'm very comfortable. The leather on these quilted seats is beautiful and soft and feels very special. It's a very nice place to sit, even when you're just commuting in traffic. Is it fun to drive? Well, it's a British luxury sedan, but it's a British luxury sedan with a 5-liter supercharged V8 with 575 horsepower that sounds like this. So 
So yes, it's it's very, very fun to drive for a vehicle of this size. Jaguar and Land Rover have kind of taken the Dodge Hellcat inspiration and started shoehorning this five liter V8 into everything that will fit it. And it's great in all of those. I do wish it were a little bit louder, had a little bit more of the F-Type SVR, but for a luxury sedan, it's just loud enough that you know there's something special going on. How's the fuel economy? The most powerful XJ is also the least efficient. Shocking, we know. Returning 15 miles per gallon city, 23 highway, and 18 combined on premium fuel. How much is it? Prices for the XJ line start at 84500 for a long wheelbase model, but the XJR575 adds a lot to that starting price in terms of equipment, power, and style. Prices start at 122400 for the most potent XJ, with our testers $4,080 Velocity Blue Paint and $1,625 Adaptive Cruise Control System driving the price up to $129,100, including a $995 destination charge. What are the negatives? Our biggest criticism of the XJR575 is one that it can't really do anything about. It's old. Jaguar has done a fantastic job of keeping it feeling fresh and new and loading up as much advanced technology as this old platform will allow. Germany is bringing out newer, more advanced products with stylish interiors and fresh new looks. We're ready for the same from Jaguar. Who should buy it? Customers that want to stand out from the sea of mostly silver German luxury sedans should consider the XJR575, or really any XJ for that matter. Driving a Jaguar has always been a little bit more romantic, more indulgent, more decadent than your sensible German luxury sedans. That should be enough for any customer that wants to make a statement. The 575 horsepower in this car just sweetened the deal.